afternoon guys, hope you're well, take a show of hands, come to as many views as you can, and then we'll set the embargo towards the very end for 10.30 on Sunday evening. Start in the middle here. We take the point. Uh, again, like the last eight, nine years, incredible proud of the players, how they fought, come back twice. And uh, difficult conditions for... Always oh, Sahus Park is difficult for the weather condition for both sides, not just for us. And but we fought that as always, and uh, we take the point. Michael, should, should you really today and show just where the team are at? You look a little bit tired almost at times. A little bit what? No. No, no. And what did you make of the red card? I didn't see it. Sir. Well, sometimes I go to on the pitch, sometimes I go direct to the to the locker room. What did you, what, I mean, you're not, the team wasn't tired, but they, they didn't win the game. What, what well, we played the last 10 minutes, 15 minutes, with 10 against 11, yeah. you know? We had seven potential start 11 injured, and uh, a lot of players with minutes, and the physicality for Christopher Palace is there. But we, we were there, and uh, we did everything to try to win, and and really proud and pleased for the players. Stay please, guys, in the corner. Um, you had long periods where you were looking in control of, of the game, were playing with your customary poise, and yet you seem to be paying for any mistake you make defensively. Is that what's happening? Is that a consequence of just the, the stretch nature of your squad at the moment? You no, it's, ha it's happened. Football is a game of mistakes, and... And for the good things, we make a fantastic two goals. And uh, of course, in the set pieces right now, they are stronger than us, every single team. So we try to concede few. That is what we we are doing. And and um, but in general, yeah, the game was was there. And come back in this stadium is not easy. And we try it. And and uh, really pleased for many things. I saw. No, it's really good. Uh, the way they finished last season was an incredible impress. Uh, they start with problems, not just with the results, not for the, I think the way they play. And uh, I'm so pleased for Glasner is doing an incredible job. Uh, he's a top professional. Uh, I think a, a lovely person. And yeah, of course, long balls with Mateta, with Sar in the position from from Rico. Of course, they can beat us. Um, therefore, from Gundogan and, and, Matt and Bernardo were doing unbelievable. So I think both wingers were really, really good. We need fresh legs for that position because Jeremy came from a long injury in a different position and play almost 90 minutes. And I know it's a guy like can play regularly a lot. It's difficult. And Jack yesterday faced some niggles, didn't feel discomfort, and and come also for long injuries and. And I would, uh, you know, maybe put it before, but I just had the feeling that the players were in the field with the 2-2, two -two especially, or with even before the 2-2 two -two were there. Um, unfortunately, we could not finish with with 11. <coughs> How's that um, the goal for Erling Haaland today? Do you think that it's going to help his confidence a little bit? Um, having, uh, we, are lucky, we are lucky that we have him. We are so lucky that we have him this season, that we are lucky we have Rico, that we are lucky that we have... Bernardo Gundo, all these players that Gujosko, that all these players have been all the season playing, playing without rest. We are so lucky these four, five, six players are there with us. Of course, Erling, with a sense of goal and the threat is always there. We are lucky to have him. Are, are you pleased to see the way he's linking up again with Kevin De Bruyne now he's back in the team? Much more of a The threat has to be always the way we played, but of course the connection, the talent, the final third for Kevin is, is so special. And of course we miss him a lot last season, this season as well, and it's, yeah, play 70, it's five minutes, today the same, so it's, it's really good and hopefully can continue that way. Again, it's before the embargo. Is there a 
feeling like when are we going to get a real break to recover and, and when when yeah exactly is that the season when no, no listen the, the season start difficult will be difficult all season so you have to survive it's a season to survive a season to every game try to take points to win games and and go forward so we know it we feel it and Unfortunately, we miss an important player for us this season for the next game against United at home. Um, but in general, what they have done in these circumstances is really, really, really good. So um, we knew it that from the beginning, for everything was wrong and unlucky and lucky in many things. And we have to continue with that with the players that we have in our disposal. Go to Champions League now in Turin and try to perform well and take it take it take our results. Thank you.